What's up guys, I got a brand new video for you today and I'm here in San Diego. The sun finally came out. It's been raining pretty much the entire time we've been here. And I'm here at Sony Camera Camp and Sony brought us out here for this. This is the ZV-E1. This is a full frame, compact vlogger, content creator camera. I'm gonna tell you the top five reasons why you should buy this over the A7S III. So let's go. So my first reason to get this over the A7S III is the dynamic axis stabilization. I have it turned on right now. Obviously it has five axis in-body stabilization and it has active stabilization like all of Sony's other cameras. But now this has a dynamic active stabilization where it crops in even more and it gives you this buttery smooth stabilization and it looks so good. And I've been shooting with it this entire time that I've been here. So everything that you've been watching, I've had dynamic active stabilization turned on. And a second really cool feature is the subject auto reframe. And basically what this thing's doing is it's gonna blow your mind, but what it does is it's using AI, it detects a face and it's gonna zoom in. It's gonna use clear image zoom and it can actually pan around and follow you in frame. And it's just doing it on the sensor. You can do it in 4K. And we did this test last night and I was actually blown away with how this looked. And it would be awesome if you didn't have a camera guy and you just wanted the camera to follow you around and make it look like you had a camera guy. I don't know, it's, it's kind of like Apple center stage. It's, it's pretty cool. So before I talk about the third reason, let's take a look at the body design because it's very similar to the ZV-E10, but it's basically an A7S III. The ZV-E1 looks really familiar and that's because it looks almost exactly like the ZV-E10, but unlike that camera, this has a full frame sensor and all the power of the A7S III. The sensor in this camera is the same 12 megapixel low light monster that's in the A7S III as well as the FX3, so I'm sure you already know what that camera is capable of. It has insane low light performance and Sony rates it at 15 stops at dynamic range. The body's made of plastic, so that's what's keeping the price down as well as making it lightweight. It doesn't have an EVF, but it does have a nice fully articulating touchscreen. And on the back, the button layout's almost exactly like the ZV-E10. E10 and on top it's really clean it has a multi-interface hot shoe the large mic array and the switch to quickly toggle between photo video and s and q there's also a wheel that you can program and i have mine set to the shutter speed and of course you've got the shutter button the zoom rocker and the on and off switch when we come around to the left side that's where all the ports are it has a 3.5 millimeter mic jack usb-c for charging transferring files as well as being used as a webcam below that is the single uhs2 sd card slot and below that we have the micro hdmi as well as a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and the third reason is all of the new menu options and also how you access this menu options. Oh, I also forgot to talk about audio. This has some new audio features. This is actually the mic built in. You're hearing what it sounds like right now. And it'll actually automatically switch over when it doesn't see a face to the rear mic. So it has several mic capsules and it can automatically switch for you. So that's pretty dope, but I digress. Basically what I wanna talk about is the new menu options and how you actually access them from the touch screen now. So you can actually touch ISO, white balance and shutter speed. You could never do that on any other Sony camera before. You can swipe in and swipe up and swipe down and you have all the other features that you can access. So if you're vlogging, you can actually adjust them from the screen without having to reach around to the back of the camera. And the fourth reason is all of the new AI track. Oh, it's tracking me. I just, uh, speaking of tracking, I was just tracking a bird back there. So I've got it in bird autofocus and it's not really focusing on me. So let me switch this to human, hold on. So this has the AI autofocus processing unit in it that the A7R5 has. And I've shown that in my review on the A7R5, but this has all the same modes like human, bird, animal, insect, plane, train, car, you name it, all those autofocus modes. So it's super snappy, it's super quick, it's super sticky, it looks really good, and it's just something you can trust. And that's something I wish was in the A7S III. Now, before I tell you about the last reason why you might wanna get this over the A7S III, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Gear Focus. I've been using Gear Focus for a while now and it's still probably one of the best places to buy and sell used camera gear. And they've totally revamped the site. They've taken user feedback, they doubled down on it and they've launched a fully new redesigned site for an all around better and safer experience for sellers as well as buyers. And security was a big update with these changes. And if you currently have an account, you're gonna notice now that when you log in, you're gonna to need to do a few more steps and fill out some questions to make sure that your account is actually updated for better security. And this is gonna guarantee authenticity and that's good because it gives the buyer peace of mind. Not only that, but they've actually added a much better messaging system as well as more transparency and seller profiles, better user reviews, and just better browse features that's gonna help you find exactly what you're looking for. 
And a huge change for sellers is the ability to create shipping labels directly from within your dashboard now. This makes the whole shipping and buyer experience way more enjoyable. And as a seller myself, I'm really stoked to see this, that they've added this. Now, obviously the site is mobile friendly, but they've actually been working on a new app that's coming out soon. And with that, you're gonna be able to actually browse anywhere you want. You're gonna be able to sell quicker and receive real notifications directly through the app. So make sure to check out my shop at gearfocus.com. Don't take my word for it. Head on over there and check it out. You might find some new gear that you've been looking for. Thanks, Gear Focus. Back to the video. And the fifth reason actually took us a few minutes to figure out, and it was because we needed an ND filter since it was so bright outside. I probably wouldn't use this mode often, but it's still really cool. You need to be an intelligent auto, and it can detect two faces and change the aperture depth of field depending on how it sees people in the frame. I'm kind of explaining this horribly, but basically when one person's in frame, it's gonna adjust the aperture to blur the background. But when it sees the second person come close into frame, it'll stop the lens down so the second person comes into focus. And that's pretty cool if you're vlogging and you wanna show the second person so they're not completely out of focus. So without listing off every single feature that this camera has that the a7S III doesn't have because there's a lot more, um, this camera is a lot more attainable. It's a lot less expensive. It's $2,200 versus $3,500. But with that, you're getting a little bit more professional camera on the a7S III. It's made of metal, it's got weather sealing, it has dual card slots, and it also has a really nice EVF where this camera doesn't have that. And if you're shooting extended periods of 4K 60p, this camera cannot keep up with the heat. It's gonna overheat after around 30 minutes, depending on your ambient temperature. But uh, yeah, that's probably one of the biggest reasons why you might wanna get the a7S III over this camera is just the fact that you have better heat management. Anyway, that's it for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, give it a thumbs down twice. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and I'll see you guys in the next one.